Well, that's a nice view from the top of the uh, facilities at uh, Johnson's, Johnson's Hill Locks. Just fill it up with a bit of water. Lots of permanent moorings down on the left hand bank. And the top lock pub. is to let yet another one bites the dust. Okay, so we're just leaving uh, John Johnson's top lock where we stay for the night, filled up with water, heading off now towards Blackburn anyway. With this green duckweed definitely makes a difference to the boat's progression. I've not changed the engine revs at all but we're going at a snail's place now whereas I was going at a reasonable pace before. So there's obviously a lot of resistance for the boat to push its way through. Well, we're just coming up to a section now where there is no green algae. It would be interesting to see if the boat picks up speed. I'm not going to touch any of the controls just for my own satisfaction really. A few clucking hens over there. A bit of aggravation. Right, just coming into this little section here where there is no green algae. Let's see what happens. Not a lot basically. I'm going to put it in reverse if I can clear the propeller. It's an interesting arrangement he's got there. Solar panels on top of the uh, tarpaulin roof. Don't think that boat's moved in years. Always for sale as a bargain. Anybody want to buy a boat? Well, some big works planned here. Bags and bags of aggregate all along the bank. The canal's running alongside what is basically a hill. On that side, on the right hand side. And then over there on the left, the level of the ground is a lot lower. So it's been cut into the hillside basically. That's a grand residence overlooking the canal there. some industrial heritage there steeple and derelict building so this is with nil ford Let's see what research i can do on these old buildings that are here see here for the canal days and this is the canal and river barge that's been dumping off these bags of aggregate all along the towpath and it must have stretched for well over a mile I 
I still get the feeling that the Leeds Liverpool Canal, especially in this section, is unloved. The locks are in poor condition. There's no boats out and about. I haven't seen a boat again all day. One of their slogans on that is take action. Need I say more? Well, there's Mr. and Mrs. Swan with their family having a picnic by the looks of it. Six signets. It's a lovely piece of the countryside, it's very scenic. So we've got the M65 coming up amongst this rural landscape. And it is very attractive. Showboat, Showtime, Luxury Floating Suite. Probably a showboat, a boat show once upon a time. I don't know, established as a rush bucket. What do you reckon? Bennington Bridge, leisure moorings, it's permanent moorings, Canal and River Trust. Well, that's a nice vista up there just across from the moorings. That's the motorway over there. That's right across this uh, landscape. You can hear it all the time. Well, there's a massive great aggregates works as well. The lorries are going across the, uh, the landscape on unmade roads. They're very busy. There's several of these lorries moving all the time, moving aggregate. pictures of the Anderton boat lift on that narrow boat. Probably an original stone cottage which is now in the middle of uh, modern housing. It's 
got old concrete pillars. I meant lintels. Hello. Hello. Very nice boats there. Look well up together, both of those. It's an interesting little corner on the canal. Anybody want to make a phone call, post a letter? Next door but one to the ducks allowed sign, there was a garden that had no ducks. What amazes me is how clever ducks are these days. They can clearly read. I wish I could stop and pick some of those apples. Look at those bright red apples on that tree. Well, that's a nice display of flowers there. Big hydrangea. Hydrangea, some lovely hanging baskets. Okay, so that's Cherry Tree Visitor Moorings. much wider here at Cherry Tree. So here is a pub called the Navigation that looks like it is still in business. They're becoming a rare thing to see. That's a shame to see all that litter on the bank there. Pigeon City under this bridge. Loads of them all nesting there. There's a bit of new fencing needed there. So we're on the outskirts of Blackburn now, coming into Blackburn and it's a long straight stretch of canal on this section there's Blackburn's football ground over there This is a long aqueduct, we're well above the uh, surrounding countryside, hence the reason it's dead straight. So, Blackburn Locks, first of six to do, back in the city and there's anti-vandal locks on the locks. So that's the first one of the Blackburn locks done. There's a short stretch before the next one. Got to stop and close the lock gate first though. Well, there's a nice big turning circle at uh, the Blackburn locks immediately after the first lock going up. If you're chicken out there's room to turn around. And it's an acute right hand turn here. I'm not sure if that's 
where the lock entrance is or whether it's just under a bridge. It's a lock and there's not a bollard to pin it to. Well it's an interesting arrangement because the paddle winder is behind all the apparatus for opening the lock gate. It's alright if you're a limbo dancer I suppose. Urban Blackburn after we've done the flight of locks volunteers turned up which made it a whole lot easier so thank you to the volunteers I have to say out of all the towns I've done on the canals and I do enjoy um, looking at all the urban development and all, all the old um, industrial buildings etc but as I say I have to say Blackburn has got the look of down and out on the canal about it it's a shame but it does look tired and neglected and do you know we've been going all day now I started off at nine o'clock this morning it's now half past two and I have not seen one single boat on the move, not one, which I find just incredible. And then you go under a bridge and you think you're out in the countryside except the traffic noise. A beautiful old stone wall they've got there. I'd like to know what its original use was. It's got all those the, um, like portholes on it. what I mean about unloved, the canal's covered in uh, weeds, there's only one sort of channel through the middle of it all, keeps getting in the propeller too. Well there's some new development going on the uh, canal side here in uh, Blackburn and there's some old. I wonder if that uh, cottage stroke house that's there was part of the um, management of the canals back in the day. looks like an old railway station hello 
Betty. There's a great mirror on the wall over there, hidden by the vans, but uh, look at that. Looks good. It's got to be an old mill, surely. And over there on the distance, look, it's the top of a mosque. That's something you never used to see when I was a boy. My word, how society's changed. Way to decorate an old telephone box. I think they've wallpapered that. Graham and Brown wall coverings. That's pretty horrific. Look, all that broken glass under the bridge. Well, my word, look at the size of that. Some industrial pass there completely derelict now, a seriously big piece of real estate. I'll have to research that, it's, um, it's ginormous. seen with electric pylons on one side of the canal and on the other side retail park industrial buildings what a contrast so that's, so that's where Delboy got to 